home is it? The middle. Gentlemen. Good morning, dear faithful. We praise God once again for bringing us here into our sanctuary. For all of those who are here present at this time, and especially for those who continue to come and offer themselves to the church, we thank Steve and John and the others who are here in order to offer those candles to behalf. Let us all gather together at this time so that we can join in prayer at this time and forevermore. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save the Lord, your people. Bless your inheritance. Grant them victory to the faithful of the enemy. And by your cross, protect your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We look to the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassion upon the new community which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, grant them the victories against their enemies and their adversaries. And, and for now, my Lord, may they have you. Peace as their armor, the trophy of invisible, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and shameful protection of good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you call the rule, grant them victory from heaven. We gave birth to God and the truly blessed. You're a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men.
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. You, O Lord, shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You, O Lord, shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, how greatly multiplied are those who afflict me. Many have risen up against me. Many say to my soul, There is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one lifting up my head. I have cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake and rise because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriads of people who are together attacking me from all sides. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you have struck down all those opposing me in vain. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. Salvation is from the Lord. And may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. I lie down and sleep. I wake and rise because the Lord is helping me. 62. 62. O God, my God, to you I rise early at dawn. My soul thirsts for you. And in many ways my body yearns for you. Speak up. As if in the de a desert hand, impassable and parched, with such a strong desire, I appear before you in the holy temple to see your power and your glory, for your mercy is far better than the earthly gift of life, and my lips readily praise and glorify you. Thus I will continue to bless you throughout my life and to raise my hands for prayer in your name. My soul will thus be satisfied, as with the choice of food of marrow and fat, and with joyful lips my mouth will praise you. As often as I remember you upon my bed, I reflect upon you in the morning prayers. I realize that you have become my helper, so in the shelter of your wings I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. But they who in vain who have sought my soul will enter the lowest parts of the earth. They will be surrendered to those who, with the sword in their hand and become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will now rejoice in the Lord of God. And everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised, while the mouth of those speaking unjustly will now surely be shut. Again, as often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper, so in the shelter of your wings I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefactions. He pardons all your iniquities and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption and crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your needs with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and justice to all who are wronged. He has made his ways known to Moses, his will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always be angry, nor will he be wrathful forever. For he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor does he reward us according to our iniquities. For as the height of heaven is far from the earth, so greatly has the Lord extended his mercy to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father is compassionate to his sons, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows well how we were formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like the grass. He will flourish, but as a flower of the field. For the wind will pass through it, and it will soon disappear, and no one will recognize its place any longer. But the mercy of the Lord remains forever and ever upon those who fear him, and his righteousness remains upon the sons of sons who keep his covenant, who remember his commandments and observe them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom <laughs> rules over all. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his heavenly powers, his ministers who carry out his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord. 
Hear my prayer. Accept my supplication in your truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter judgment with your servant, for no living person can be justified before you. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, and some of my life to the ground. And he sit in darkness like those long dead. And my spirit within me became despondent, while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old, and pondered on all your works, reflecting on the creations of your hands. I lifted up my soul and my hands to you, and my soul thirsts you like a parched land. Quickly answer me, O Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, like least I like those who have gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have placed my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way I must follow. For to you I have lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for in you I have taken refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. For the sake of your name, Lord, grant me life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of affliction. And in your mercy, utterly destroy my enemies. And bring to nothing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not in judgment of your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. And do not enter the judgment of your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, o Lord, the whole Lord, glory to you. Pandos to Cliru, Cutulao, to the Kiriu, the Ethoman. Our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. This city, for every city and land, and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios ke perfanen imin, Ευλογημένο σου ερχόμενο σε ονόμα την κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. Θεό κυρίω και πέφανε νυμί. Ευλογημένο σου ερχόμενο 
and on all my All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. And this came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. Επάτησε το θανάτο τον θανάτο. Πρώτο το κόστο νεκρό με γενετό. Εκκυλία σάδου ερίσε το ημά και παρέσχε το κόσμο. Το μεγα έλεο. Everything on earth be glad, for with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by means of death, and he became the firstborn from the dead. From the maw of Hades he delivered us, and he granted the world his great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let the heavens sing for joy, and let everything on earth be glad. For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by means of death. And he became the firstborn of the dead. From the maw of Hades he delivered us, and he granted the world his great mercy. Και νυν και αήν και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν Σε τι μετιστεύσασαν την σωτηρίαν του γένους ημών Αν υμνούμεν Θεοτό και παρθένε Εν της ακήγαρτης εκ του προσληφθήσεις ο Υιός σου και Θεός ημών το διασταυρού κατά δεξάμενος πάθος ελιτρώσα το ημάς εκ θωράς ως φιλάνθρωπο. Again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Εκ νεκρών εγγυηρτέ, η απορχή των και κοιμημένων. Ο πρωτότεκο τη κτήσεω και δημιουργό πάντων των γεγονότων. Την καταφθαρίσαν φύση του γένου Σιμών. Ενέ αυτό ένα κέννησε. Ουκέτη θάνατε κυριεύεις, ο γάρτων όλων δεσπότης, το κράτος σου κατέλησε. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, when you had physically lasted, taste, O Lord, 
You could tell this bitterness by your resurrection, and you strengthened humanity against it by reversing the failure related to the primal curse. Oh, defender of the world, glory to you. Glory to your God, of hope, glory to you. Heavenly King, comfort of the spirit, the the truth, of truth, of the spirit of truth, who are present everywhere, and fillest all things with treasure, blessings, and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us of all impurity, and save our souls a good one. And angel Gabriel had marred your purity, which was resplendent and amazing, he said to you, the Theotokos. As there is no accolade that can worthily honor you, I am at a loss for words to address you, and in awe am I. But I will say what I was commanded, Rejoice, favored maiden, full of grace. At your divinity, immutability, and your suffering intentionally, have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, being without any defense. We sinners offer this prayer to you as Master, have mercy on us. I tremble at this human frame, Unincorporated hypnostasis. I see the invisible one waging war on my street secretly. And those who I am holding are crying out, Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. <laughs> Το ακατάλληπτο όντο τη Σταυρόσεω και ανερμήνευτο όντο τη Αγέρσεω. Θεολογούμενη πιστή απόρριτων μυστήριων. Σήμερον γαρθάνατο και ο άδεισε σκύλευτε. Γένος δε ανθρώπινων αυθαρσίαν εν δε δείτε, διό και ευχαρίστος κραυγάζομεν. Δόξα Χριστέ, τι αναστάσει και και εις των αιώνων, αμήν. Το ακαταλήπτον και απεριγραπτόν το μοούσιον πατρί και πνευματί εν τη γαστρή σου μυστικός εχώρησας Θεομήτωρ μία και ασυγχυτών της τριάδος ενέργεια εγνώμεν το τόκο σου εν το κόσμο δοξάζεσθε Διό και ευχαρίστω βόμενση χαίρε ή και χαρίτω. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you, may Christ our true God, who is risen from the dead, good, loving, and merciful, God of mercy and save us, the intercession of the pure and holy mother, the power of the precious life, giving cross, the protecting all the bodies, powers, heaven, the supplication, the honor, glorious, prophet, and foreigner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praise of the apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumph of the holy God, bearing followers of the same mark, the evangelist, the patron of our church, the Lord, and 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 the Ω μαθητρία κυρνάτε, ο αστράπτων εν το τάφο άγγελος, προσευθέν και τότες μυροφόρης, είδετε ημείς των τάφων και ίστητε, ο σωτήρ γαρεξανέστη του μνήματος. Λόγητο συγκύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματα σου. But the angel appears to them and rather, the time of lamentation is ended. Weep no more, 
Τον ασφασμένο του Ιεπάσου. Λόγοι τόσοι κύριε, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Μυροφόροι γυναίκε με τα μύρων ελθούσα. Προ το μήμα σου σωτήρεν ηχούντο. Αγγέλου τρανό προ αυτά στεγωμένου. Τι με τα νεκρόν των ζώντα λογίζεστε. Ω Θεό γάρε ξανέστη του μνήματο. Όχι πατρί και ο και αγίο πνευματή. Πώ και νου μεν πατέρα και το του τον ιόντε και το ναγείο πνεύμα. Την ναγεί αντριάδα. Ην μη την ουσία. Συν τη σαραφήν κραζόντε τον αγίο. Αγίο, αγίο συγκύρι. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate, God and man, has erected to life him who fell from heaven. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glossa sio theos. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Astounding in appearance, refreshing by the words he spoke, the flashing angel said to the myrrh-bearing women, Why do you look in a tomb for the living one? He is risen and has emptied the tombs. Know him, the unchanging changer of corruption. Say to God, how awesome are your works, for you have saved the human race. <laughs> Those who saw shedding godly tears when the south wind is blowing joyously will harvest tears of life everlasting. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father and the Son, radiates intrinsically every gift of goodness. And in Him all things both live and move. Unless the Lord build the house of virtues, in vain do we labor. But if we protect the soul, no one can conquer our city. O Christ, the fruit of the womb, by the spirits are the saints forever, as adopted sons to you as a father. Doxa Patrikeia, Kia Yapnevati, Kemin Kei, Kesusona Soneonami, Ayopnevati, Anthropite, Pasahis, Don Sophia, Usiam Pasen, Darktisin, Afton Patrusimen, the Agar Patrik, Etologos. Those who fear the Lord are blessed. They will walk in the ways of your command. 
commandment, for they will eat every kind of vivifying produce, gazing on your offspring round about your table, bearing branches of good work. Be glad, O our pastor. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is all the wealth of glory. From him issue grace, life, and all creation. For he is in total with the Father and the Lord. Gentiles, the Lord is King, for He established the world, which shall not be shaken. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for He established the world, which shall not be shaken. Asate ton kirio asma kenon, e patentis ethnesin oti kirio se vasilevse. Και γάρκα τόρθα σε την οικουμένη, ή τη σου σαλευθίσετε. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the tomb you rose up today, O Lord of tender compassion, also from the gates of death you let us out, O, sa o our Savior. On this day is Adam, Danson, and Eve rejoices, and with them together patriarchs and the prophets are, un are un unceasingly extolling the divine powers of your authority. The divine powers of your authority. Let heaven and earth dance for joy today, and in oneness of mind extol Christ our God, for he resurrected the prisoners from their tombs. All creation rejoices together, offering worthy songs to the Creator of all and our Redeemer. For today, as the giver of life have been drawing mortals upon from Hades, up from Hades, he exalts them to heaven together and lays a curse on the enemy's left haughtiness and smashes the gates of Hades by the divine power of his authority. By the, by the divine, divine power of his authority. When you come down to the earth, O God, in your glory, all things will cower and tremulous and a river of fire will draw before your judgment seat. The books shall be opened up, and public knowledge will things hidden be. Rescue me then, I pray, from unquenchable fire, and count me worthy to stand at your right hand, O you, the most righteous judge. Consider o you, the most righteous judge. Considering well your fearsome judgment, exceedingly good, Lord, and the judgment day, I shudder. I am frightened at the accusations of my conscience. When you are seated on your throne and conduct the examination, no one can deny their sins, accused by the truth and possessed by terror. Great will be the sound of the Gehenna fire, then and the gnashing of sinners. Therefore have mercy on me before the end, and pity me, O you, the most righteous judge. O you, the most righteous judge. On February 19th, we commemorate the Holy Apostles Archippos, Philemon, and Amphia. On, th on this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyrs Maximus, Theodotos, Isichius, and Asclepiodoti. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Rabulas. On this day, we also commemorate our devout fathers and confessors, <laughs> Eugene and Macarius. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Conon. 
On this day, we also commemorate our devout <laughs> mother, Philothea of Athens. On this day, we also commemorate <clears throat> and remember <clears throat> the second and imperial coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In your ineffable love for humanity, O Christ our God, make us worthy of your auspicious voice Number us among those at your right hand and have mercy on us. Voithos que escapastis, e geneto mi sotirian, utos muceos que doxaso afton. Θεός του Πατρός μου και ύψος ο Αυτόν, εν δόξος γάρδε δόξαστε. Establish on the rocks of your commandments my heart, O Master, solely shaken as it is, O Lord. Only you are holy, and again only you are Lord. Ακήκω εν ο προφήτης την έλευση σου Κύριε και φοβήθη ότι μέλης εκ παρθένου τύκτεστε και ανθρώποι εις δείκνησε και έλεγεν Ακήκω την ακοή σου και φοβήθη Δόξα τη δυνάμι σου Κύριε in the morning I wake from night. Lover of men, I pray, give me light and guide me in the way of your commandments and teach me ever to do your holy will, O Savior. I cried aloud and shouted with all my heart unto the tender loving God, and he heard my voice from the lowest depths of Hades, and he raised my life from the pit of corruption. We sinned, O Lord, and we broke for your law. We have behaved unrighteously before you, and neither have we kept your word nor acted according to the way you commanded for us. Yet, O God of the fathers, we pray do not utterly deliver us up. Anumen evlogumen ke proskinumen ton kirio. On stratie uranon doxa zusae και φρύτη τα χερουβήμ και τα σεραφήμ. Πάσα πνοή και κτήση συμνείτε, ευλογείτε και υπερυψούτε εις πάντα στους αιώνα. Let us pray to the Lord God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And as I top no e, as I don't get it all. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be found worthy to hear the holy gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the holy gospel is according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. 
Now when Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared to first to Mary Magdalene, from who he had cast out seven demons. She went and told these things that had happened with him as they mourned and wept. But they heard that he was alive and that he had been seen by her. They would not believe it. After this, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at the table, and he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who had saw him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message, by the signs that attended it, Amen. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Eleimon eleison meotheos, kata to mega eleosu, ke kata to plithos on iktir monsu exalipson, to anomimamu. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother pulled me. Behold, you love truth, and you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall spray with this up, and I will be clad. You shall wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. You shall make me hear gladness, and my bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. <laughs> Ρίσε με εξαμάτων ο Θεός, ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου, αγαλλιάσετε η γλώσσα μου την δικαιοσύνη σου. Κύριε, τα χείλη μου ανοίξεις και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken, humbled heart God will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Doxa Patrikeo
save your people and bless your inheritance visit your world in mercy and compassion exalt the horn of orthodox christians and send down upon us your rich mercies through the prayers of our most pure lady the theotokos and ever virgin mary through the power of the precious and life-giving cross through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven through the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of Peter and Paul the Twelve and the Seventy Holy Glorious and all lauded apostles and of Herman the Apostle to America, of our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, the Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Minas, Spiridon of Trimithus, Nectarius of Pontopolis, and John of San Francisco, the Wonder Workers, of our fathers among the saints, Innocent and Tikhon, the Enlighteners of America, Raphael of Brooklyn, Mata Regia of Chicago, and Saint Luke the Surgeon of Simmerpole, of the Holy Protomartyr and Archdeacon, 
Deacon Stephen, and the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Merce Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, Eminas the Wonder Worker, of Eleftherios, Haralambos, Cosmas, et Alos, John Alexander, and Juvenali the Holy Priest Martyrs, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina Paraskevi, and Irene, of Peter the Aleut and Proto-Martyr of North America, and of the holy, glorious, and victorious 179 martyrs of the Dao Pandelis Monastery, of Kiriakos, and of the unmercenary and healer Pandeleimon, of the priest confessor Alexis of Pennsylvania, Jacob of Alaska, and Sebastian of San Francisco, and of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, and all the holy ascetics, of the evangelist and apostle Mark, the patron saint of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the saints who remember today, the holy apostles Archippos, Philemon, and Aphia, the holy martyrs Maximus Theodotos, Esikios, and Asclepidioti, and of the devout father Rabulas, of the devout fathers and confessors Eugene and Macarios, and of our devout father Canonos, and our devout mother Philothea, all whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only all-merciful Lord, hear the prayer of us sinners, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, we with whom you are you. blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Honor you with hymns, let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. <laughs> For he has regarded the lowly state of his handmaid servant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Glory is done, mighty things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in the imagination of the he put down the mighty from the throne, he exalted the lowly, he has filled hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped the servant Israel in the remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to all others, to Abraham, to his seed forever. Ingrid, <speaking> <speaking> 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Agios Kyrios o Theosimo. Holy is the Lord our God. He's all glory to God and worship at the foot of his feet. O ti Agios Esti. Bringing to mind the imminent fearful day of the judgment, Lord, and your ineffable glory, I shudder wholly and tremble fearfully, crying out, O Christ, when you again come to earth, to judge the universe. Oh my God, in your glory, I pray you free, miserable me, from all perdition, and count me worthy thus to stand at your right hand, O Master. When I reflect upon the hour of the interrogation, Lord, and of the frightening coming of the lover of mankind, I shake all over and I cry, dejected, O oh my judge, most just and only very merciful. Accept me now in repentance through the pairs of the Theotokos. <laughs> Sit 
Σεν αυτή χρήμα έγραπτον, δόξα αυτή έστε πάση τη σωσή αυτού. Ο καμ, ο ιουνέσιανς, know the power of the awe-inspiring mystery. For Christ our Savior, the Logos, who was in the beginning, <clears throat> voluntarily for us was crucified and buried, and he rose from the dead to save the universe. Let us worship him. Praise God in the saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Those who guarded you reported all the marvelous events, O Lord. However, the Sanhedrin of futility filled their hands with gifts, thinking that in this way they could hide your resurrection, which the world glorifies. Have mercy on us. Τα πάντα πεπληρωτέν τη αναστάσεω στην πυρανίλη φώτα. Μαρία Γκάρ, η Μαγδαλινή, επί το μνήμα ήλθεν. Εύρεν άγγελων επί το λίθον καθήμενων τη σηματή. Εξαστράπτοντα και λέγοντα. Τι ζητείτε των ζώντα μετά των νεκρών. Ο και στην όδε αλεγίγερτε. Καθώ είπεν προάγων εν τη Γαλιλαία. trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. In your light we see your light, O Master, who loves humanity, for you have risen from the dead, and you granted salvation to the human race, so that all creation may glorify you, only sinless one have mercy on us. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of your wondrous tidings. Daniel the prophet, a man of goodly desires, considered God's authority. And he cried out thus and said, the judgment seat was set up and books were opened. Look, my soul, are you fasting? Do not neglect your neighbor. Are you abstaining from food? Do not condemn your brother lest you be sent to the fire that will burn you up as wax. But unimpeded, let Christ lead you into his kingdom. Pray. 
possesses our swelling passions and reconciles offenders with the Master. Therefore, let us welcome her with a cheerful heart, crying out to Christ our God. You who rose from the dead, keep us uncondemned as we glorify Heal my 
to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you both in your diaconate and his kingdom. Blessed is the kingdom, ευλογημένη βασιλεία του Πατρός, και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, Τη άνωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for our holy metropolis, for this parish and city, and for every city and parish, and the faithful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, 
for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, Lord wrath, God. danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. His mercy is boundless and love for us as an apple. Look upon us, O God, as we have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, to you belong all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and everything within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, for your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. And to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. <laughs> Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us and sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord reigns until the ages of ages, your God, O Zion, from one generation to the next. Sonima <laughs> Again and again in 
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. To our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and her whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Let all things above in heaven rejoice, and let all things below on earth be glad. With all the might and strength of His arm, an eternal deed the Lord did reveal.
του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Let us be attentive. Brethren, food commendous to God. We are no worse if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. Here, this liberty of yours somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For one sees you not at a table in the idol's temple, not be encouraged his weak to eat food offered to idols, and so, by your knowledge, this weak man is destroyed, the brother for whom Christ died. Thus, sinning against your brethren and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of my brother's failing, I will never eat meat, lest I cause my brother to fail. Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are not you my workmanship in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. Sophia. Megas o Kyrios imon ke megalis kis aftu. Εν ήτε τον Κύριον ότι αγαθός Πρόσκομαι Προς Κορινθίους πρώτης επιστολής Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα <Κι> Αδελφοί, <Κι> βρώμα ημάς ου παρίστησεν το Θεό Ούτε γάρε αν φάγομεν περισσεύομεν Ούτε αν μη φάγομεν ιστερούμεθα. Βλέπετε δε μήπως η εξουσία ημών αυτή πρόσκομα γέννητε της ασθενούση. Εάν γαρτής είδησε τον έχοντα γνώσιν εν ειδωλείο κατά κείμενον 
ουχή η συνείδηση αυτού ασθενούς όντως οικοδομηθήσετε εις το τα ιδιλόθητα ιστίν και απολύτε ο ασθενών αδελφός επί τη σύγνωση διόν Χριστός απέθανεν ούτως δε αμαρτάνονται εις τους αδελφούς και τύπτοντες αυτόν τη συνείδηση να ασθενούσαν εις Χριστόν αμαρτάνετε διόπερ ή βρώμα σκανδαλίζει τον αδελφόν μου ή ου μη φάγω κρέα εις τον αιώνα ή να μη τον αδελφόν μου σκανδαλίσω ου και μη Απόστολος ου και μη Ελεύθερος ου χει Ιησούν Χριστόν τον Κύριον ημών εόρακα ου το έργο μου ημίς έστε εν Κυρίο ή άλλης ου και μη Απόστολος αλλά για ημίν ημί η γάρς φραγής της εμείς αποστής, εμείς εν Κυρίου. Be with you, proclaim the epistles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wisdom rise, hear the whole gospel. Peace be with you all. Reading is from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Let us be reminded When the Son of Man comes in His glory, all the things with Him, and He will sit on His glory. Before Him, He will gather all the nations, except them one separates the sheep from the goats, and he will place the sheep at his right hand, but the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see thee hungry and feed thee, or thirsty and give thee drink? And when did we see thee a stranger and welcome thee, or naked and clothe thee? And when did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you did and you did not clothe me, sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer, Lord, when did we see thee hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to thee? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. You proclaims the gospel. Hear our prayer, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love and partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. 
And grant, O Lord, that we always may be guarded by your divine and loving power who may give glory to you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. God's word to approach and draw near our minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for your heavenly powers. But because of your immeasurable and natural love for us, you became man without duration. I pray as you assert as a high priest, as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you. Look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so that vessel with the grace of priests, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come about head and pray? Do not turn your face away from me, nor eject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the one who offers in his offer to receive the ship into me of glory to the eternal Father. And you're all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the one holy Lord Jesus, the only sinner's one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you are God, we know no other than you. We call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. With the cross, joy has come to all the world, saving the Lord, that by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your burning mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin are the barren. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Hope me the willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you are no delight to sacrifice were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable, God, is a broken spirit, a broken, a contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your good pleasure design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. upon me a sinner and save me. in his kingdom, your diaconate in his kingdom. May the Lord forgive those who hate us and those who love us. Lift up your hands of the holies and bless the Lord. By the Lord at the sound of a trumpet.
Ando ni mon, ni si, Kyrios o Theos. En di vasilia av tu pando te, ninke a hi, ke Jesus e onas ton e onon. Tot strepti mare tori lor, crestin sa va pomiasca, tome nulle dumne zu in true, un parasia sa doi de euana, acum se pururasi in veci veci lor. Amen. Gospod, Bog spomiene, Sve na cucarvo svoje, svada sadak i uvek i u sve vekuva. Amin. El Señor Dios se acuerde de nosotros en su reino eternamente, ahora y siempre. Por los siglos de los siglos. Be the Lord our God. Remember us all in His heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and unto the end. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. That which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. And this o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And this o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account. Before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Re- 
remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the merciless of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. doors and wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Storm and calor, storm and metaphovu, proskament in a yen and a foran, and it in the prosperi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Our comment, let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to worship in all place of your dominion. For you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Together.
together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came and completed the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up. Or rather, when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands. He gave thanks, he blessed, he consecrated, he broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete fayete tutum estito soma, to hiperimon clomenon is afesina martion. Amen. Pietex of tu pandes, tu tu estito, emamu, totis genis diathikis, to hiperimon ke polon echinomenon is afesina martion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command to save and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. So I may give to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins communion of the Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. George Bester Athanasius, George Anastasius, Alexander of Theodora, Athanasius, Blisa, Artemidus, Presiter, Yanni, Athanasius, Socrates, the priest, Calabros, Harry, George, the servants of God, Cynthia and George, Theodora, Constantine, Cleopatra, and James, and grant them light where the light of your countenance shines. Grant them rest, O Lord. Again, we ask God, remember all our bishops who really teach the word of the truth, all prayers and deacons in the service of Christ, and everyone in holy orders. We offer the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, for the forefathers. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, 
the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, and granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who do serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor, and send mercy upon us. home. we pray, O Lord, for those enduring religious persecution throughout the world. We pray, O Lord, for peace in the Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. We pray, O Lord, for those who are suffering in Turkey and Syria from the devastating earthquakes, and for your servants, Francis, Angelo and George the priests, Eleni, George, Ron, Mary, Lubov, Kay, Steve, Denise, Margarita, Gus, George, Sergio, Spirit, on Dawn, Angela, Constantine, Elena, Gary, Kim, Betty, Ann, Marina, Evelyn, Michali, Angela, Dax, Craig, Fortuna, Tina, Ron, Anastasia, Crisula, Lane, and Stella, John, John the priest, and family, Aphrodite, Mateos, Cristina, Zafiras, Safiria, Sofianos, Thanos, Angelikis, Yorgiu, Vasiliu, Vasiliu, Maria, Euripides, Vasiliu, Ekaterini, Eleni, Constantina. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Having remembered all the saints, the mercy of our God, mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Be with all of you. And with your spirit. I greet you with much love and joy in our Lord's name. I have so much joy in my heart today, as you can see in our beautiful altar with all of our clergy who are here. It brings me back, and I feel like that I'm in seminary, and I'm there with these beautiful priests, Father Alexander, Father Jim, Father Dean Paleologos, Father Peter Chamberis, Father Peter Carluzis, Father Dennis Struzis, Father Alex, our deacons. I think I got everyone. But more important, I would say, besides these wonderful men in our altar who lead us and have taught me so much, and Father Alex, each and every day, are their presideros. So we welcome them today here to our church. May God bless you all. It's such a joy, such a joy to have you all here today. If I may offer just a few reminders, our Lenten services and our outreach, our book club that I mentioned last week, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. I told you the wrong book that you can buy. However, for those of you who bought the book in the bookstore, next week you're going to receive a bonus. And that's from a beautiful donation. You're going to receive a free copy of the right book. So if you didn't buy the right book, yet you have to buy it still. If you bought the old book last week, you'll get a new one. Next week they'll be here, and it's the Meditations on Holy Week. A reminder that we will also do a collection today for our second week in a row for those who are suffering in Syria and Turkey from the devastating earthquakes. IOCC is on the ground already, and that's a blessing, helping those who are in need. We also know that our offices tomorrow will be closed, so please don't call us. We might be here doing a little work quietly, but please don't stop by and call us. Um, and I could just remind you a few things. If you're a young adult, our young adult Paracrisis and Paint this Wednesday will be in the hall. We're going to start here. Paracrisis, we have already 20 people signed up. Then we're going to go in the hall. And one of our young adults, Marina, is going to lead us in painting. So we're going to learn for a little Paracrisis. I like to call it Paracrisis Painting and Prep to prep us for Holy Week. And also a reminder that next week our Goyans, the senior Goyans, will be with myself and all of our beautiful advisors. We're doing our trip to Nassau and also a service project at a Ranfurly orphanage there. May God bless us all. And keep in prayer today at 12 o'clock. Our senior boys are in Charlotte right now and they're competing for the championship game today at 12 o'clock in basketball. They're very excited. They were texting me all night and all morning. Our prayers are with them. But most importantly, our prayers are with those who are here today and those who are suffering and those who are in need of our constant love and support. May God bless us always. <laughs> Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted that as holy, celestial, and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, 
may return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual altar with a clear conscience. For the remission of our sins, forgiveness of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. Que cataxios animas despota, metaparisias a catacritos tolman, epicalistes se, tone puranion theum patera que legin, paterimon, o endis uranis, ayacitos onomaso, el ceto e vasiliasu, yenicito to celimasu, os en uranon que epitigis, tonartun imon tone piusion, dosim in simeron. Και άφησε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών, ω και εμεί αφήμεν τι φελέτε ημών. Και εμεί ενέγησε εμά τι φελασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμά από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oce nas izesi na nebesi, ni ha svatia imia tvoja, ni ha bridet sasvia tvoja, ni ha bude voja tvoja, jak na nebi, tak i na zemlji. Hreb nas naš nušni, daž nam sohodni. I prosti nam provi naši, jak i prošajemo vinacijem našim. I ne vevedni nas pokosu, ali vizoli nas vid lakavaho. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit, we give thanks to invisible let King. us bow our heads to the Lord. So look down from heaven upon those who bow our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but for you, the awesome God. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with the only good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy on me. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy on me. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy on me. Let us be attentive, proscomite. This I eat the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken yet not divided, forever eaten yet never consumed. Sanctify those who partake of Him. Jesus Christos Nika. Jesus Christ conquers. The cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Oh God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. My brothers and concelebrants, forgive me, Mark, and worthy priests. Behold, I post Christ, my God. Forgive me, my brothers, his amen. Christ, our middle king of God, the precious body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given to me, Mark, and worthy priest. For the remission of sins and for life eternal, amen. Again, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God. The precious blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given to me, marked and worthy priest, for the remission of sins and life eternal. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This has touched my lips. My sins are forgiven, and my guilt is taken away.
In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Statisticians tell us that there are billions of people living on this earth. Billions. Of these billions of people, with all their great minds and science and understanding, no one person can tell us what will happen at the end of time, as well as tell us what will happen to us when we pass from this knife to the next. One and only one truly knows what will happen at the end of time. One and only one truly knows what will happen to us in our fullness when we pass on to the next life. The Lord Jesus Christ has spoken to us clearly about all that will come to pass at the end of time. While many people think they know what will happen in the end, false prophets, seers, and fortune tellers, we only know what has been revealed to us by our Lord. Important, what has been revealed to us. We don't try and guess. We don't look for others to tell us. Today's gospel lesson describes the final setting, settling of accounts between time and eternity, between heaven and earth, between God and humanity. Today's gospel describes the last judgment and the way it will take place revealed to us. For some, it describes that fearsome moment when we are called to account for our actions. And for some, it describes that most joyful moment, that joyful time for the righteous, when God's mercy will give place to God's justice. The only thing that we know about the end of times is what God has revealed to us, what he has given us in Scripture and in the traditions of the Holy Church. We read in today's Gospel lesson, when the Son of Man comes in glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. The Lord uses this beautiful analogy of sheep and goats. We know that sheep are gentle kind, loving, Christ, loving creatures who listen to the voice of the shepherd, while goats, on the other hand, are disruptive. They don't listen, and they tend to wander off. I remember as a young deacon, 25 years old, being sent with a priest to Grand Junction, Colorado, and we drove through the mountains all the way from Denver to Grand Junction to the beautiful St. Nicholas Church. And when we were there, I met this beautiful family called the Jufless family. And the Jufless family, their family came over from a region of Greece, and they were actually shepherds. And they actually were the people all of that area that they owned, and they had the sheep and the goats, etc. And I remember asking him, is this true? Is it true? What we're reading, everything. And he said, absolutely. Sheep listen. They listen intently to the voice of the shepherd. The goats are the ones that wander off. The goats are the ones that are disruptive. They try to mess things up. They don't really have much of a mind themselves. They go in their own way. And he said to me, Deacon, I remember this, in your ministry, be like the sheep. Important. So going back to our story, the king or the Lord will separate the sheep and the goats. The sheep are those who have lived godly lives. They forgive those who have hurt them, and they ask forgiveness to those whom they have hurt. They have fed the hungry, visited the sick, visited those in prison, helped those in need. The goats are those who have not lived godly lives. They have put pride, ego, selfishness, and wealth in the forefront of their lives. They do not know how to love. They do not forgive. 
and have ignored others. We then read, the king will say to those at his right hand, come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. But to those on his left, the king has a very different answer. We read, depart from me into the eternal fire. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. But they asked the king, when did we not help you, not feed you, not visit you, or not welcome you? And the king will answer, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to the one of least of these, you did not do it to me. There's an old legend of a Roman soldier who was a Christian. One cold winter day, a beggar stopped him. The Roman soldier had no money, but when he saw the man shivering from the cold, he took off his soldier's coat, cut it in half with his sword, and gave it to the beggar. That night, the Roman soldier had a dream. He saw all the angels of heaven in Jesus sitting in their midst, wearing the torn half of a Roman soldier's coat. One of the angels asked Jesus why he was wearing that battered old coat. And Jesus answered him, my servant gave it to me. And the king will answer, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. The things Jesus talks about in today's gospel are simple things which we can all do. A piece of bread, a cup of water, a word of welcome, a piece of clothing, a visit. Nobody is so poor that he or she cannot give something to one in need. Our goal in this life is simple, to make it to the next life. It's not easy because the evil one wants us to stay far away from God, as far away from God as possible. He puts barriers in our ways. But we must live godly lives now so that we can sit on the right hand of God with the saints and those holy men and women that surround us who have come before us and will come after us as gentle, kind sheep. Some might think they know, but the truth is that we will never know the time or the hour that our Lord will return. We only know that he will come as scripture reveals to us like a thief in the night, meaning when we least expect it. So we have a great challenge, my brothers and sisters before us. If we do not know when our Savior will return to judge the world, we must live each day as if he was returning that same day. We must live each day with a focus on our Lord, doing good to others, and most importantly, experiencing the love of God and the love of neighbor. We can sit on the right hand of God. The gospel is given to us today to help us visualize our goal, to help us see the beauty of living with God eternally, with the sheep, to help us see what lies ahead and the basis by which we will be judged when we face God at the final judgment is how deeply we love the king when he appeared to us in disguise, when we did not know it was him. As we prepare ourselves to enter this Lenten season, let's really look within ourselves. Let's really try and grow. Let's place our focus, really, on, not on ourselves, but on God through others. Let's really truly and try to be the loving, forgiving, giving people that we were created to be. There are gonna be many opportunities each and every day for you to help somebody, to lift somebody up, to love somebody, to forgive. Start now. It begins right now. At St. Mark, we will have opportunities through Lent to help you on this progress, both 
communally and individually. Take advantage. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed, not feed you, and thirsty and give you drink? Or when do we see you a stranger and welcome you? And the king will answer, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. Let's really make this Lenten season something really special, something worthy of our Lord's kingdom. Deacon, I remember, deacon, be like the sheep in your ministry. Brothers and sisters, be like the sheep. In your name we ask and pray, amen. Let us together read the prayers before receiving the body and blood of Christ. As a reminder, our church school children, teachers, and staff will come first down the middle aisle, and we ask you to follow the ushers as they usher you. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. <laughs> With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. Oh. Uh -huh. 
That your faces may not blush with shame when the poor cry out, the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distresses. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise be ever. and loan so save all God your people and bless your inheritance we have seen the true light we have received the heavenly spirit we have found the true faith worshiping the undivided trinity the trinity the of God the heavens to glory be over all the earth Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, <laughs> heavenly life, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. Sanctification, and to you we offer glory, 
to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service. Grant peace to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. It's an offer memorial prayers, a 40-day memorial for Zenovia Cozones, a 40-day for Constantine the King, a one-year for Theodora Presbytera Palelogos, Father Dean's mother, a two-year for Anna Spiricostas, an eight-year for Nicholas, an eight-year for Spiro Lambru, a one-year for Maria Variazos, an eight-year for Jack D'Ambrosio, a 16-year for James Colta, nine years for Stella Colta, four years for Christos Aguiros, and a 33-year for Christo Aguiros, Don's brother, a 71-year for Valerio Gafenzu. We pray that our Lord will grant them all eternal rest in his kingdom. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Lux patrii ke io ke aio pneumati, si o Theos imono kata vasis adim, ke tas odinas lisas ton pepedimenon, aftos ke tas fichas ton lulon susoter na pepson. Forever to the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin, who gave birth God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, sorrow, suffering, but life everlasting. <coughs> Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Again we pray for the servants of God, Zenovia, Constantine, Theodora, Presidera, Nicholas the Priest, Basil, Irene, Michael, Gregory, Despina, Minileo, Xantipi, Dimitriu, Consandino, Urania, Fevronia, Gregory, Nidini, An, Nicholas, Spiro, Maria, Jack, James, Stella, Christos, Christo, Valerio, and for the forgiveness of all their sins of those who have fallen asleep, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to this thy world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of thy servants who have fallen asleep in a place of light in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word, deed, or thought, for there is no person who liveth and sinneth not. Thou alone art without sin. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy word is truth. For you, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep. And to you we offer glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. To ke ke menon dunon su Christe o Theos Simon, ke si din doxa on an apemomen, si od nara ke su patri ke to panagio ke gatho, ke zopio su pnevmati, nin ke ai ke su seonas to neonon. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our 
hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous answers of God, Joy Kimenana, of St. Philemon and Philothea, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome today the Ferguson family, Bridget and Joseph, who's worshiping with us for their second time, and all of our visitors, our beautiful clergy, the Presbyteras, children and grandchildren who are visiting. What a blessing. May God bless you all. Join us for the liturgy after the liturgy and the fellowship hour. Father Alex snuck off to go teach the juniors and the seniors. Then we come back in here for a baptism, and we pray that our Lord will bring you strength this year, and especially as we gather for this Lenten season one week away. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh-huh.